Hello and welcome to the reunion of 1984 Hall of Fame. Tyler was just crowned the winner at a vote of eight to three versus Caleb. Um, so we are going to get to some awards. I know that you guys are going to want to talk if you can limit that a little bit so that we don't have too much uh, interruption. That'd be nice, but <laughs> a couple comments are okay, but don't, don't go overboard, please. <laughs> okay. Let's start us out here. Okay. Uh, let me minimize this. Okay. The first award is Best Diary Rooms. So here are our nominees, Burks, Lee, Benner, Rizzo, and Yoshi. Um, we got some great diary rooms from a lot of people this season, but these five in particular uh, stood out to us. Um, but of the five, one in particular stood out to us as our favorite diary rooms this season. Here we go. Nick Benner Shut was up. our favorite diary rooms this season. Um, I always enjoyed getting on call and listen, listening to Benner uh, give us his thoughts during the game. Um, Benner wasn't the most connected person, so it was very interesting hearing his side of things um, compared to others. So, yeah. Most wholesome moment of the season. We had Yoshi's reaction to Bria's nomination. Keaton's coming out and Jabbar running to Yoshi after his HOH win during their meetup. Keaton's coming out was the most wholesome moment we thought. Um, Keaton's not here right now, but Keaton, we all are really proud of you. And yeah, um, the other two moments were um, also very wholesome. I think it was very touching to see um, Yoshi's reaction to Bria going on the block next to him. Um, it was nice to see that relationship that um, we saw in season three, we saw it again. And then Yoshi and Jabbar um, hugging after Jabbar's HOH win at the meetup was a really fun moment and um, it was very wholesome as well. Next word. Best rivalry. We had Jack versus Caleb, Rizzo versus Bryce, and Jabbar versus Tyler. This might not have been the only rivalries of the season, but um, these were the three that stuck out to us. So the winner of best rivalry is kind of obvious, <laughs> Rizzo and Bryce. Um, <laughs> they have had this rivalry since season five. Um, they, their rivalry lasted a long time um, and was talked about at least between the two of them for pretty much the whole time that Rizzo was in the game, so. <laughs> kind of frozen <laughs> okay I, I thought maybe that was just me it's like catching up now yeah it's catching up now do you guys see the next yeah. one? Oh, oh, here we go yep yeah okay so best duo this one was really hard for me and blake because i think all four of these duos and even some others that are not mentioned were very iconic this season um but in the end we did pick one winner Sam and Tyler ended up being the one that we chose as the best duo of the season. They went almost to the end together um, and they were ride or dies from day one, though I think there was a very good case for the other three to all also win this award, but we decided to give it to Sam and Tyler. Next, the best alliance of the season. We had Rizzo, Caleb, and Sam, which was named TBD. We had Caleb, Tyler, and Sam, which was the three Scrooges, and the tablespoons of Burks, Tyler, and Sam, the best alliance of the season. We said was the tablespoons. <laughs> they had a lot of influence throughout the game, two of them making it to final three. Um, I know that the three Scrooges was the final three. However, that wasn't created until later game. I also have an honorable mention of the six, the six being season two minus Luke plus Sam and Rizzo. That alliance was never actually made as an alliance, like a chat or anything, but it was definitely six people that were working together. That's why they were the six because they never really had an alliance name, but they, they pretty much controlled a good portion of this game. 
Where where's Sao Tay? <laughs> I'm just, I was gonna keep my mouth shut. Um, yeah, next is a robbed pre juror. <laughs> next is the robbed pre juror. Our nominees were Maria, Cindy, Drew, and Luke. The robbed pre juror was Bria. I do believe that if it wasn't for the duo's week, I think Bria would have had a much better shot. Um, in the cast assessment, you will see me predict that Bria would get pre-jury, but I would not have expected it to happen this way. I knew Bria was a big target coming into this game, so I assumed she would likely leave early. However, um, this way of leaving was not something that I expected, and I don't think it would have happened if she wasn't attached to Jack that week. <laughs> I am still sorry Next for that. Is... <laughs> Next is Comp Beast of the Season. We decided to give this award to Caleb. Caleb now holds the record for most comp wins over um, all of his 1984 career. And if I'm correct, I believe Caleb has now tied Megan for the most comp wins in a season. Um, he completed that record, or tied that record tonight with his final head of household um, victory. Um, Burks and Jabbar definitely were in the running for this. I, I do believe Burks actually won a higher percentage of comps, but with Caleb breaking that record, that is why we chose him as a comp piece of the season. I do also have an honorable mention of Luke, who won four out of seven comps that he competed in this season, which is very impressive. If he would have stayed in the game longer, I would be very interested. Okay. Well, either way, um, Luke um, was definitely an honorable mention because um, it would have been very interesting to see um, what he could have done comp-wise if he would have stayed in the game longer. Can you guys see the next one? Okay. okay I'm just going to... Okay. Oh, Underdog of the season. Yeah. We can't see. We can't see. Yeah, yeah, we can. Oh, there we go. Okay, let me stop screen we sharing. Oh, okay. Well, let me let me re-screen share then. <laughs> okay. Somebody give me Sam. Give me a thumbs up if you can see it, because you're the one I can see on my screen. Okay. Yes. Cool. Okay. Underdog of the season. Our nominees are Nick Benner, X, and Yoshi. We gave it to. X. X was nominated seven times this season, um, four of which he stayed on the block on eviction night. Um, he fought his way through this game. Unfortunately, it ended a little early. Um, however, he did um, manage to stay for a good portion of the game past when he would have been expected to, being on the block so many times. Next, we have the hero of the season. Our nominees are Lee. X and Yoshi. Our winner is Yoshi. Yoshi, <laughs> Yoshi ended up being our hero of the season. Um, I think Yoshi had a very emotional exit, um, but a very passionate exit. Um, he wasn't necessarily winning the most comps, um, but he did play a pretty heroic game. Um, there's really not anybody I heard had a bad word to say about Yoshi personally at all um and yeah and there's one award that i don't think i added on here i'm just gonna say right now um we were going to do a most emotional exit um and i don't think i ended up adding it here i think the nominees were going to be um yoshi's eviction bryce's eviction and rizzo's eviction and the winner of that is rizzo's eviction um rizzo's eviction definitely gives a surprise to me being emotional but seeing how passionate you guys were for this game was very heartwarming um, because I never thought two years ago creating this game that it would mean so much to people. And so that was very cool to see. Despite, like, obviously you guys were sad when you were leaving, but it was still very heartwarming to see how much you guys cared about the game. Okay, next up, villain of the season. So our three nominees are Caleb, Sam and Tyler. Our winner of villain of the season is Sam. Sam was a snake this game, as many of you realized eventually. 
Um, he made a lot of deals and broke a lot of deals and um, planted a lot of seeds against other people, cut his closest allies. Um, but yeah, that's why Sam ended up being our villain of the season. Sorry. And <laughs> lastly, <laughs> lastly, our player, our player of the season, our nominees are the final four. So our player of the season is Tyler. So Tyler played a very good game this season. Um, me and Blake both saw a good possibility of him winning pretty, pretty early on during the jury phase. Um, Tyler played a really strong game, in my opinion. Um, I think Blake can attest to that. Um, while we did have uh, two winners and um, Jabbar, who has a very big reputation in this community, um, in the final four with him, Tyler stood his own. Um, despite um, how season two went for him, he still stood his own and played this game very, very well. Um, so with that, that is all the awards we have. Um, I would like to mention the draft. Um, so the fantasy draft where any of the viewers could go in and choose five players. Um, I think this has kind of already been announced. Well, Paige ended up having the final four and Burks. And so Paige overwhelmingly won that draft. Um, and then I can go back and it'll take me just a second to go and look at the draft between production as well as Caleb Reynolds on the cast assessment. Give me just a moment. It'll take me just a second. It's going to load. Um, and then I can reveal who all of those picks were. Okay. So um, Caleb Reynolds' picks were Lee, Keaton, Megan, Luke, and Nick W. Blake's picks were Bria, Jabbar, X, Cindy, and Yoshi. My picks were Jack, Rizzo, Chris, Sam, and Bryce. And Paige's picks were Burks, Billy, Nick, Caleb, and Tyler. So clearly this season, Paige knew what she, <laughs> what, uh, she needed to do when picking a draft team. Um, and that was the backwards order that we chose them. Um, so the first name I chose was the last round pick. Um, and then our wild cards were Drew and Kevin. Um, who both ended up leaving within the first three weeks. And so I guess we did pretty good picking the drafts this season. Um, so I think that is all that I have. So if anybody has any questions for production or each other or whatever you want to talk about, now is the time that we can talk about that. Uh, if there's any votes that you guys want to know um, where the votes lie, that you can do yes, that. I, the I chart will be... The chart will be revealed, but not tonight, probably. Maybe late tonight, but not right now. I want to make sure I finalize it and everything. But Are you going to post um, Tyler, rights of passage and the cast assessment, too? Yeah, that'll all be posted later tonight. Okay, I, I have two questions. One's game-related. Um, can we know the nine votes to <laughs> save Cindy? It, better, it was better flipped. Oh, better, we too. better flipped? Yeah, I think Billy, really, yeah. Yeah, I, I, but I was going to ask better that. Why? <laughs> After the call we had... Such, I love how this has been such a controversial topic. The no, like, I figured this out a while ago. I figured this out a while ago. And I, th that was the first question I wanted to ask Nick, is just why? After we got off call, it just seemed like you were so much on vic evicting me. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I just, I liked how upfront you were with me. I knew you didn't really have anyone in this game. And I knew it was going to cause a lot of drama. And I knew the people I was working with would trust that there was no way that I was voting Cindy. And it caused drama. Also, I do have a question. Who were the two votes to evict me week one? I know Lee, Lee was one of them. I was oh my God, that's so good. It was, it was Lee wow. and it was Tyler. Um, yep. I, I expected a little more controversy behind it. And you know, I was a shit disturber early on. So I wanted people to start talking about it. But Actually, speaking of controversy, oh my God, I just want to be a little bit messy. We, um, there's a lot of stuff being said you know, by certain people that can actually ruin people's lives. So, Mr. Bryce, well, uh, what did I do? No. I just want to ask: Are you a racist? What? No. What well, the Miss hell? Cindy was going around saying that you're a racist. Okay. 
the what what um michael <laughs> I, michael i wouldn't record those no record it i'm fine to record because i'm not i'm not a damn racist i i don't okay. know why she said that i just want you to I say your little... name because people started disliking you I, this, I <laughs> did anyone else hear this i would love to know why i'm a racist um i would love to know too i mean actually you know i heard that um i am no shade to x but i heard that x went to yoshi because x got mad that yoshi told me about it what what did she say i was sorry i just talk, i'm just like really confused why cindy would say that what did she say specifically i don't know the specifics but what i was told basically the whole like general round of it is that you were racist and then um i said <laughs> okay this is what happened cindy went to x and got mad at x for telling yoshi because yoshi told me about me being a racist Oh, I I hope you don't believe that. I mean, Cindy and I had drama oh, on the way. Up. We had a like lot of you. views of the game thing. and of people that weren't quite all there. I, I literally can't even imagine why she would say that. Like, oh, I was defending you. I yeah, I, I listen. I, I I hope I'm. I don't. I can't even speak right now. That's. Whatever. Oh, sorry. Like, I mean, I'm just saying. Like, that's just something that I thought should have been rung up because that is life ruining. And I could ruin somebody's life and give a very bad reputation. That's why I wanted to be brung up. But I, I get that. I respect that. Going to Yoshi about it, which honestly, she has no reason to be mad at X for going to Yoshi because if she didn't go to Yoshi, nobody would have said nothing. Yeah, I, I, I do believe that it's a very big accusation if there's no like actual like just proof. Yes, I asked for proof. I asked for proof, and Cindy claimed she never said that. But then she went to X mm -hmm. and got mad at X for telling Yoshi. Interesting. Yeah. I'll be having a nice little chat with her, I think. Yes, I was hoping Miss Cindy would be here. I was ready. No, she her. she didn't want to show her face. Um, Cindy she, left the alumni chat, so yeah, I she's she's people. real bitter over this game. I just gave the link to the people that were in the alumni chat. Well, then yeah, that's why I wanted to ask. I was hoping she would be here so she can answer herself because she was dodging the question pretty much a lot. Yeah. And Bryce, we can talk about this later if you want. I am just, yeah, I'll talk about it all anyone wants. I ain't got nothing to hide. Yeah. Yeah, I'll talk about it when it's not being recorded. I don't think this needs to be put on blast. Wait, this was like a thing? I yeah. went to Yoshi. I did I did go to Yoshi about it because I, I was concerned why it was mentioned, but I'm not going to say anything on a recording. I don't, I think that's just, I don't, no, she, yeah, I just think it's coming back it up on recording. recording. A lot of people, well, not a lot of people, but some people did start having a feeling towards Bryce, disliking him. So I thought that it should have been brought up on recording so people can see, and so Bryce can speak to a lot of people. So I would love to know who disliked me. If you understand what I mean, like, listen, listen Bryce, I would have disliked you if I heard you were racist. Like, I'll, I'm just, oh, so I don't, like, I think a lot it, of people was were it just like over me as a person or of me being yeah. over No, like personally just like you. Yeah. Why? Who? Because, well, of, because of the rumor? Racist. Yeah, because the, the, the like, racist. And, and Bryce, to be honest, I knew, like, I knew about the rumor as the game was progressing, but like, I wanted to leave it out of the game and like, I didn't want that to affect like how I felt about you strategic. And like, and I want you to know that that had nothing to do with me renaming you or anything. Oh, I know. I. And Bryce, I don't want you to think I'm trying to put you on blast or X put you on I blast. literally don't. I, was, I I have no qualms with it being brought up. I just don't get it. <laughs> I wasn't but trying to put you on blast or anything. I just want it to be said so people who are watching can see that you're not a racist instead of it being said to people's yeah. DMs. Yeah, I also yeah, wasn't trying to put you on blast. Um, you know, she's the only person I made a comment to that about at all. I didn't bring it up to anyone else, so. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I do think y'all should all talk about it after because I feel like that's like Bryce having that reputation if he's not a racist is not really good at all and I've personally I've known Bryce for many many years and I've never seen him say anything racist so no I know that's why the only reason why I said it out loud is because I want people who dislike Bryce to see this and see that Bryce is not a racist that's why because if it's said in PMs the people who think Bryce is a racist is never going to know Okay. All I'm going to say right now is this is the first time I'm hearing about this. So it was likely done over private message or in chats that production That's is not in. Because if, if, if I would have been aware of this, we would have taken care of it. But obviously, 
like we didn't want game to be brought in so i get it but i just want bryce to know like production had no idea this was even going on okay yeah i didn't even know, i didn't know yoshi even told bria until cindy came at me so I didn't even know this was a thing, man. Yeah, I was just saying, I'm even shocked this is a thing, because even though, like, the little time I've known I didn't think it it would be, like, the farthest spring from a race. Yoshi only told me, Yoshi only told me, like, it wasn't out of, like, a malicious intent. It's because whenever we were talking about you, Bryce, I said that I loved you. Like, I was like, I fucking adore you, Bria. Yeah, I was like, I loved you. And Yoshi was like, oh, well, I heard something about Bryce, and I was like, okay. And then, like, you know, that's when it all happened. But I didn't, like, I did not believe that rumor, because I was like, (sighs) It is what it is at this point. People are going to say what they're going to say. You know, you can only do so much. So I, we we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it after. after. Um, but no, no harp. I, lo- I love you, Death Bria. You're a fucking icon. I love you. I love Bryce joining the Bria as an icon club. <laughs> he I've should have been. already been a member. I never left that club. Yeah, yeah I know. Like, like, were he should have been a member. member. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm just kind of a member. I, also, I'm Michael, sorry. thank you for like making this. Like, All Stars was really cute. It, it was really. And then fun. the people calling it BB Twenty Two, it was really cute. <laughs> I okay. I want to address that. I don't think this season was yeah. Big Brother Twenty Two at all. Regardless of what the pre jury says, I think two of the people that really were not with that are the two that are on here right now. Um, so, Big Brother Twenty Two was a was one group of people steamrolling the whole game that's not what happened this season the pre-jury was not able to see the whole season yes there was a big alliance but that alliance went after each other pretty much the whole time um starting with Rizzo leaving and then um it continued so like that alliance specifically Jabbar was against that alliance as a good opposition to them I do not think this game was Big Brother 22 at all that season two alliance did not start until you guys brought it up. They made it because you guys were putting it on them. And so why would they not make an alliance that they're already being told they're in? So no. why not make it true and get the benefits so, from it? I literally said that to every person in season two. I was like, if y'all make a fucking group, that's smart because everyone here is talking about it. Why not make it so? so? Why not keep each look, other safe? So to, like, clar- so to clarify, look. like so, what, to clarify what I was basically going to say, like I've told Michael this already. I did think the pre-jury was predictable. Does that not mean I do? Like the people who got nominated by who? It just seemed like it was very consistent through the pre-jury. As jury went on, it got less predictable. I didn't know what was going to really happen. I don't think it was much BB22. I just think there was a lot of people who were comfortable where they were at, if that makes sense. Which makes I mean, sense, because, because it's a big bitter. group. It makes sense. Um, it was mainly can, the people who were bitter who were talking shit about the snippet. Um, can, can, I, can I comment on that? So, like, for, for a lot of people were saying that it was BB22 because X and Keaton kept... Was, it was X and someone that kept going up. Um, yeah, oh, yes, yes. And... In my opinion, I mean, I don't know if X can say differently, but I don't think X is in a horrible spot. I just think X was nominated because the people, like me and Burks kept winning. We won five in a row and we were people who were going to nominate X, whereas P- he had Jabbar, he had Yoshi, he had Caleb, like they were all not nominating him. It was just like because of the HOHs, that's why he kept going up. No, I can agree. I can agree. I would also like to say... Um, Nick W won three HOHs early on too. So that was another person that was winning a lot of comps. And so there's not much that like, obviously they're going to nominate similar people if it's the same people in power. I found my happy ass um, every single time Nick W won. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I do think that it was shaken up, especially starting with Rizzo's boot following into the final six where we really had a split house in the final six and I had no idea which way it was going to go. It really did turn into Caleb, Sam Tyler versus uh, Lee Bryce and Jabbar. But I also think that there were cracks in between that, that could have ended up with one from each side in the end um, or even like two going to the end, but one from the other side sitting with them. Like there was very many different possibilities um, and it was, as much as I wish it would have started earlier, we really did get two sides going at each other. I do wish it would have been earlier, but I mean, you guys 
you guys rocked the season. I really enjoyed the season. Um, if the pre-jury didn't enjoy it, well, they're pre-jury, so. <laughs> okay, don't do it, Michael. Not- <laughs> I'm gonna just say it. <laughs> you reading tonight, honey. <laughs> I, I actually I enjoyed the season. I, I want to ask a question real quick for production. Yes. What was the most mm-hmm. fun vote for you guys in general? Just like just watching the actual oh, chaos. Of okay. It. I've got a couple. Billy versus Cindy, obviously. Sam versus Nick Binner was oh. definitely <laughs> that was an intense mess. vote. Quack. That one was that very was intense. I had I had no idea what was going to happen with that one because obviously when when Sam gets put up in a back door, you expect Sam to go home, but then that didn't happen. And I think, like, I don't think Blake was paying as much attention that round. And so Blake was like, oh, Sam's going home tonight, right? And I was like, I don't think so. Like, I think I think Sam's staying. And um, also another week that... Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. I was just going to say, I was literally... No, you go. Because I I was surprised anybody was going to let Sam get much further than nine, considering the game he was playing at Mm -hmm. that point. Thank you! (laughs) (laughs) I... I was confused why any of the winners were getting anywhere. I just, me, just because you're a winner. <laughs> I mean, just we were because they're a winner doesn't mean we were one round. We were one round from having mm, four winners in the final six in oh, jury. Wow. Well, yeah, in in jury, we were um, one round from having three winners in the final six. Like we, the winners really showed up this season and showed us why they were winners and Bria one of the winners that went early went early because of a twist so the the winners proved this season why they are winners I really want to ask and, Jack why he went yeah. and told Nick that like I still don't understand to this day what Jack Bria, Bria Jack, do you no, no, actually no, Jack, want to ask do you, why do you, you actually talk? want the answer <laughs> Yeah, I don't fucking know. I don't. Uh, know. Uh, when I first heard when I first heard that like it was true that you guys told me, I was like, why would Jack tell Nick? Like I just did not. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> That's literally so the reason. Confused. That was probably my favorite round to watch because when Jack went, that, when that was when another Jack round. I really on the house like. call and was obviously like he couldn't be more obvious that he was lying because one he had to think like 10 seconds before he answered and then he was backtracking everything he said i was like jack what are you doing (laughs) i there was literally no way out of that that fucking hole i was like i should have returned instead of jack i actually was mad at jack but then like i couldn't argue with jack so i was like okay you know what i'm gonna take my ear out on nick and that's the reason why me and Nick argued was because of them. I was so mad when I found out that Jack wasn't told. Like, I was like, I know Caleb is not doing this on his own. I have so, a question that relates Caleb, to that. Caleb, would you guys still nominate us? Still... Um, it, it was a definite possibility. I think you guys would have gone up on the block afterwards as our replacement if... No, honestly, I think if I had my way... Yeah, I think you guys still would have been on the block. I don't oh. know if he would have targeted you, though. I would like to say, to to Caleb's defense, Caleb and Jack have had a rivalry for a long time, and so I think Bria, Bria really got screwed over with those, um, with those duo picks. Um, I will say, Chris has told me that he randomized yep. those picks. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that was true, but that's what he There's told no us. There's no fucking way. But me looking at those picks, I, I don't know if I necessarily believe I like it. Them. I don't know what he'll tell me now that the game is over. But um, but yeah, those those picks were very interesting to me. The fact that Caleb and Luke ended up next to each other was very interesting to me. So, uh, I do want to say, I, do, I think they so, were randomized because Chris yeah. was like very much upset that they, they were put on the spot. So he just, he literally did randomize them. That's what I think. I lucked the fuck I, out. I wouldn't be shocked, but it, if, yeah. The, I, I think that Sam benefited from Benner being his partner because Benner was obviously at a live game <laughs> at that point. Um, and I think that, I think that week was the perfect week for Benner to be at a live game because I think it hid you for sure. No, because uh, yeah, we know, no, we know well, Chris it, was trying to take me down under. <laughs> and being with Sam too, like I think people, I don't think people would have been as forgiving about me not being there if Sam wasn't as connected as he was. So like, I think me being with Sam, I benefited just as much. Like, 
Yeah. You guys oh, were very really 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 not touching Sam that way. I have a question that's kind of like a broken record too. And I've heard like <laughs> 10 different answers to this. Does production know why I was nominated week three? Because I've, I've heard 10 different stories and I want to know who knew about it too. Because I still don't get understand don't, it to this day. I don't know if I really know the true reason. Um, I think Nick W likes making big moves and <laughs> that's the big move they decided to make. Like, I really don't know if I know the full answer. Um, and I don't know if I will ever know that true answer. Oh, I um, did hear, I did, talk, I did talk to Nick but... W before the renom. Um, to me, it sounded like it was because you're being like wishy-washy, which to be fair, it was mostly me. So I think you just kind of got yeah, like, that was... the brunt end of the stick. <laughs> that was my confusion because Yoshi, Sam, Benner, Rizzo, like a bunch of people told both sides that they had their vote. And yeah. I was up front to Cindy. And then it was but like, oh, I'm I, putting this person up. because But I didn't test. think you were going up because I had helped him like, like private call with Nick. And they were like, would you have big Burks if they went up? And I was like, no. Like I straight up said no. And I think Nick was like, oh, okay. So I, I said yes. That I, got the, oh, I got the assumption you weren't going to go up because you didn't have my vote. <laughs> but obviously you did. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to like interject, but like my question got jumped over. Can I know the nine votes to Vic? The nine it was, votes. It was ten eight. But yeah. Oh, I just want to say votes. for yeah. this for this Cindy vote, I feel really bad for Lee because no matter how much of the truth he said in the jury chat, <laughs> sorry, Lee, he's still accusing him of being the vote for Cindy. <laughs> okay, so the people that voted out Billy were Tyler, Sam, Jabbar, Lee, Bryce, Yoshi, Rizzo, Megan, Drew. Bria and Drew. Who, who, were the other people? who were the other people? So the people that evicted Cindy were Caleb, Burks, Nick, X, Jack, Keaton, Nick, and Chris. Okay, I, I knew all that. Michael, who 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 are the two votes who evicted me? Because no, I, I, Lee was one of them, right? Lee uh, and Jack. Week four, that was Lee and Jack. Jack. Oh, that fucking dickbag. You know, <laughs> I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, I do want to say yeah. that. I'm sorry. That, what that what day, week are we talking about? That I'm week just... two, I worked so hard uh, I worked against Chris. So hard with a bunch of people. I don't, I'm surprised I even got like as many votes as I did to stay. <laughs> I really expected, like, going into that, I didn't know what to expect, but I was pretty sure Billy was staying. And then I think, I think Sam might have been the one that, that ended up flipping that, that I, 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 that, like, I think it was Sam and, yeah, it was Sam and Rizzo yeah, were the two, two that absolute flipped, cock by. I think, last minute. And Lee. Those were the two, like, last I, minute I do ones, think I that think. if I was not in this game, Sam was evicting Cindy. That's a fact. <laughs> that is a I fact. I literally, like, uh, <laughs> so my thing, Billy, I, I had, I had Cindy locked in right before eviction, before Tyler yelled at me. So. I, I, I had, I had Cindy to go as well, but like, to me, like, I knew Cindy had my back regardless, like, no matter what, I mean, like, not to like the end, but like for the forthcoming and like, I, Billy, like, I just heard like you and Kevin were coming after me before the game. Kevin and, like, was you, already gone. <laughs> well, no, I know. But like you Pre, like, preseason, I definitely heard rumors that Billy and Kevin were targeting no, Rizzo. That's, that's, but I, I can literally say that's pre-season. not true at all. I <laughs> never brought up. I never brought up Rizzo's name. If anything, it was Bryce. But it's um, okay. But, but, <laughs> and Billy, if it makes you feel any better, if I could change my vote, I would have. You know, all I, I've heard that a lot. It's fine. <laughs> I, I've heard that from a bunch of you, and I don't want to fucking hear it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I, really I didn't spent, need to change. I do want to say ten hour, ten hours that day on calls with so many damn people. <laughs> I do want to say you guys really did well this season. I think the gameplay was really good. Um, I I really enjoyed this season. I think you guys all put your heart into it, um, for the most part. <laughs> um, all of you guys on call definitely put your heart into this game, and I really appreciate it. And I didn't so. have to shave an eyebrow this season to do that. Oh, so. No, you did not. We did not do that we competition. Do that. We were nice to you guys. Max, <laughs> the question is, would you shave your eyebrow again? If you I would have I would have shaved both of them. With the position I was in, I would have shaved both them fuckers. <laughs> Honestly, I think I would have shaved it as well. At this point, I was like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. 
Prime that's what we should have done for the comeback, Tom. That's what we should have done for the comeback. I was definitely just, scared of that comp because... I knew that everyone in our six-person alliance was not going to do any of that shit. So you someone from the middle right was that. definitely winning. <laughs> Honestly, I would I, shave more. I wouldn't even <laughs> bald. I wouldn't even touch Lee, that. Lee, hush up. You barely have hair on your head. What are you talking about? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay bitch. <laughs> also, I, I did hear a rumor throughout the game that I want to, like, I'm wondering if it's true or not. Um... I know, I, I know Michael knows what I'm about to say because I heard it and I'm like, what the fuck? Um, I was told that Brie on Rizzo dated. Is that, a, is that true? <gasps> no. Wait, what? That, no. That, that not true. No. <laughs> no. Some of the shit you guys came up with. Uh, was me me yeah. and Sam were waiting to ask this to, at the finale for so yeah, long. I also heard it. <laughs> no. No. Um, disclaimer, where did that come from? Dating. One of the favorite people I love so much, Miss Elizabeth, the queen, yeah. the girl who should have been playing in 1984, the icon. That's who Rizzo is. I love Rizzo and I love money. And mm -hmm. I told him that I was supporting him because everybody else was ganging up on him. Tyler, who even told us? I can't even remember. Um, I, I do know who either. told me. DM me who told you. Right, me, me too. And I want to confront the mic. I, um, wow. I will pee. I, I will PM you because I think this person would physically rip my insides out of me if I said it on this Wait, call. PM yes, me too. PM oh, me too. Wow. <laughs> Honestly, just say it. <laughs> you don't have to say it. PM it to me and then I'll say it since that's the only thing I'm good at this season. Wait, actually, yeah, um, I, I do I do love Bria though, but no, we didn't date. Jack, you, yeah. might, you might have made it further if you put some duct tape on Okay, you. Okay, actually, I'll say where I heard it from. I because they also heard it from someone else. Someone told Berks who told me. Ah, <gasps> Berksy. Berksy, we need the details. Sorry, Berks, love you. Not Berks. <laughs> Not Berks trying to choose somebody else. Somebody. Tim going on you. No. As as <laughs> Bitch. I'm just kidding. Me Berks, Berks probably just you. ran to Tyler's D, uh, PM so quick. Was it somebody in the game? Um, I, I don't know who told Briggs. Briggs told Briggs wouldn't tell me who told him, but he told me that someone told him that. I ran to Briggs. Yeah. Right. I mean, I figured it was false. I just wanted to address it just for funny hahas because I just wanted to know. But I, I love spending three weeks at Devil's Playground. <laughs> Um, we we really like our original plan was to do the comps like throughout the season. I was gonna but say, why didn't we? A lot of you guys have a lot of you guys have loose lips, and so we decided to do it within the last week. We didn't want that to affect the gameplay of the season. We didn't want people to know that somebody was coming back from the game. Michael, and thus, Michael, well, Michael, Michael, Michael. I, I, know, I know you guys still told each other. Not, yeah. I know you guys still told each other. Oh, we but all told I wanted it to really be, did. I wanted it to be as least co confirmed as possible. Um, so that's why we pushed it off. I also, um, I think it was better as well because um, nobody was eliminated from it. And so you couldn't really predict who was coming back in either. Me winning so, Flip Cup by um, one second. Well, y'all could have just not done a comeback. Yeah. Uh, I want to say, true. Was, <laughs> no, they person. did a comeback. Um, literally, they... this was, literally for me, the comeback comps was like the matter of like one, because I won the Flip Cup <laughs> mm -hmm. by one second and lost to Jack and Nice Move by one move. And if Bria now, just I do went, no, say, went one spot, I would have I do want to say, <laughs> that comp. Bria had a chance. Literally. Bria had a chance. I don't know if she noticed. Bria had a chance to take Jack's spot, and then and it would have eliminated no, him. I know that. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Bria would have won, won that or I not. Won. But I, I won think won. Billy would have yeah. won it. But Bria could have taken it from Jack, Here's which kind of would have been iconic, knowing the story. Here's the, story the thing, arc, Michael. But... So I knew that Jack and Billy were super close, and they knew that if anything, they were going to <laughs> jump me in this comp. So whenever I saw that spot, I was like should I waste my time to still lose? Because I was going to lose regardless. Because if I jumped in that <laughs> spot, the way that I was positioned, yeah. looking at the other places, Billy would have still got me. And so, Billy my, mm -hmm. so my plan there was to murder Jack right away because Jack is really good at nice move. <laughs> <laughs> so my no. plan was... My plan was to get him out as soon as possible. And when you said that we were working together, I was like, no, I want him gone. I want him away. <laughs> so, I knew, so oh yeah, Billy, Jack. 
Billy, with that comp, I did not know what the fuck I was doing the entire time. I, I was literally was ten and steps praying. ahead. I, was, <laughs> I literally, I was praying, or like I was praying for Brea to take that one spot right in the middle because she took that one spot in the middle and two moves. I would have blocked her, and it would have been over. And I was like, "Come on, just come on, do it, do it." Do literally, it. <laughs> literally, my only plan was to try and play the middle, see who had less moves, and just try and take them out. And unfortunately, that became Brea pretty fast. And see, Michael, mm-hmm. that's why, you know. That, was, like, that was a very oh, intense night moves. Yeah, I don't like to, like, waste time. So, like, I didn't want to just do it just to waste time just to still lose. So, mm-hmm. either way, I was screwed. I was I get it. Jumped, but it's okay. But, Jack, I did hear something about you. <gasps> you know, a lot of people come to me with the tea a lot. I had known something about the last one of you. Anyways, so, Jack. Um, oh, Jabbar, I heard something about you, too. Don't. Mm-mm. What about Anything? me? So, huh? What about me? No, we're on Jack. About we you, Jack you somebody <laughs> on this call. But anyways, Jack, um, I heard that when you was crying, it was you told people it was a fake cry. Oh, I'm not even going to lie. It absolutely was. And it was because Night Moves <laughs> is a mental game. And if you can get to someone's head, I don't really care what moves you try and make you can try and make moves. And of course I fake cry. Like, I'm going to The, point, I wanna, I the go... point was to get into both of your heads. Like, so, I don't care. Billy what has it, no emotions, though. Was, yeah, I don't, I don't have, have any emotions. emotions. <laughs> that did, that did it to was to throw you <laughs> off. Dad, you didn't get in nobody's head. I'm so confused. I, do you do you no. actually think I do things? Bria is the queen of fake crying. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't fake crying. I don't, I don't even know why you're asking this because, like, literally, I told Jack to stop fake crying during the comp. <laughs> I don't remember that, but I do remember when Jack was crying. Yeah. I was like, I was like, can we hurry up? Because I was yeah, like, wait a minute, can we get this moving? <laughs> look, look, wait a I'm, minute. I was trying to do something and didn't fucking work. But so, uh, so, so basically, let's the a little bit of the backstory here. So Jack started break crying about about to <laughs> eliminate Brea from the comp, and me and Brea are like, "Can you just move so we can get this done? We've been here for too long." Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like you literally picked the wrong two people to do it with because you're both emotionless. <laughs> Jack, are you fake cr- wait, wait a them. minute. Jack, were you fake crying on your second eviction? No, no, all of all of those no, Jack's all of his evictions real. are probably real. <laughs> no, all of those are real because I do put a lot of effort into this game and like it obviously rips my soul when it's like, yep, cool, you're done. Uh but like during during comps and i think during a couple calls during this game when i thought that maybe someone could be swayed by emotions uh, i might have fake cried because this is a this is a social game and if you can get any sort of leg up even if it's stupid and didn't work mm-hmm. i was still going to try it because i was what desperate and stupid. Uh, I, I have a question about <laughs> fake crying. Bryce, did you fake cry to me or is that real? Oh no, it was real. That <laughs> was a mess. Honestly, because the Bryce I know is heartless. So oh, was, literally, I, I, I literally was so confused. I, I could not stop crying the week I went home, and I'm like, I'm normally the most like sociopathic, fucking emotionless, like psychopath, but I, I, I don't know. I lost it. Where was that Bryce in season five, huh, Bryce? <laughs> I only have three things to say and I'm, I gotta go. But the first thing I have to say is I don't know why people all thought the winners had an alliance because that winner chat was barely even spoken of. Oh, and like that was so embarrassing. Yeah. So awkward. We need to add the next number now. Oh, oh, yeah. was, like that winner chat was like talked in like maybe like once or twice they like, really wasn't even talked in everybody was like oh the winners are gonna no y'all were so fake y'all only and messaged when, like, y'all, only messaged it, y'all only messaged it when i went hoh and you were like yes sam <laughs> i was gonna really message it when caleb won i was gonna be like caleb we in the chat together <laughs> and then the other thing is um a tip for people when you're fake crying always do it whenever you're close to the end that's why i did to miss nikita and it always guarantees you a final two spot you do that when you do it in the game. <laughs> Don't do it during the game. And do yes, it at Sam. first in your age. Sam, you should have shed some tears. Yes, yeah, Sam, shed some tears, buddy. 
Oh. I did after I was evicted. Uh, Sam did uh, shed a tear tonight. I think we have a, we could make a yeah. really big no. like, I, I think we saw that. I, I cried too afterwards. So <laughs> don't worry. I did cry. I did cry in front Jabar of Jabar dips <laughs> every time he gets emotional. I just, I just sat there and left the call. But yeah, it was also like <laughs> 10 days in. <laughs> it is a lot different when you are more invested and when like you guys had played this game for 53 days. Like, I get it. Honestly, so, it, was like slightly, it was like slightly relief tears. Like, I was tired. <laughs> I was exhausted. I get it. it this is a stressful game. Oh, it's too I, much. This is a very I learned game Sam, game Sam, Sam made this his day job, but Burks told me that Sam talked to Burks 12, to like 12 in the morning. At I'm the told, you know what you need to do to get like more cast? Or, I like, didn't fail a, ca- a class over it though. So. You need to do like minis. Like, you need to do like minis with new people. And then, like, we did one mini. Um, we might do. Yeah, Billy won't shut up about it. The mini I'm just count. saying, like, you need to like do many huh? like newer people, and then like if they do go into mini. No, count. Billy Stevens. Oh, I thought you meant me. I was like, what? Yeah, oh, Billy. Stevens. No, Billy, I, Billy Stevens will not shut up about it. I did not fail a class. I just came close. Okay, I so was gay I when was, Caleb said that. I was <laughs> really planning <laughs> the episode quote today, or for this episode, like the finale episode, was gonna just be the finale. But Caleb changed my mind. <laughs> so, um, do you guys? Since I'm on that topic, do you guys want to hear the? Yes, episode? Yeah, I don't get yeah. any. Yeah, um, they will be in the chart. But um, week one was Operation Salmonella Infection. That was the by Sam. Yuck. Week two, week two was the clown is back. That was Jack. Week three was I did not sign up to babysit. That was Caleb. Uh, week four was, so can someone tell me who the vote is, please? That was Lee. Week uh, five, the duo's week, um, it was, sometimes you're an extra. That was Luke. Um, there was a bigger quote, but that just made more sense. Um, and then the next week, week six, um, was Big Fat Game of Telephone. That was Megan. This is one of my, this is really ironic. Um, this was Megan talking, I think I already said this one, this was Megan talking about Nick W, but the irony is because of the comeback, it kind of is about Megan now, uh, telling them they made Final 14 and then giving them 15. So, (laughs) um, (laughs) Megan ended up with 15th place. Um, next week, um, was, I don't care about Lee, I'm talking about me, that was Jabbar. Oh. Um, <laughs> backwards week um, was I'm too pretty to be pre-jury that was Bryce um, and then during the comeback um, was are you Jewish that was Yoshi oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> week 10 week 10 was not to be dramatic but you probably just lost the jury vote that was Sam he was talking to Burks um, <laughs> Oh yeah. And then week 11, week 11 was my ass might get control all and deleted. That was Yoshi. (laughs) That was one of my favorites. Um, Week 12 was use your brain real quick. That was Rizzo. Um, Week 13 was forever bridesmaid. That was also Rizzo. Um, (laughs) Week 14 was (laughs) I got played by a 16 year old. That was Sam. (laughs) Also talking about birds. Um, the triple was you're the full meal. That was Tyler talking to Yoshi. Um, and then week 15 was I hope your internet turns off. That was Bryce. Um, and then week 16 was the fucking Twink Alliance. That was Jabbar. Um, and then week was that 17. About us? <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. Was that talking about us? <laughs> yes. <laughs> week that was 17 that was about yeah, that, that was, was so good. good that was so good <laughs> yeah <laughs> week 17 was I've done a lot of fighting in this game that was Jabbar um, week 19 that was this past week was I'm hiding my pain through comedy that was Caleb and um, tonight was <laughs> it's not worth uh, it's not worth failing a class over <laughs> So that was um, all the 
all the episode quotes. Only got one. <laughs> Wait, Mike. Uh, I mean, right, a lot of you guys. Are you still doing so? Uh, um, so the plan right now, it could change, but the plan right now is um, season seven is going to start casting end of January, and we will start the game mid February, and then Surviving Three will likely be after that. Schedules could change, but that is the plan for now. Um, Blake is taking a break, most likely um, for his own personal reasons. Um, so that is what determined what we're doing next. So um, not quite sure what production will look like for next season yet, but I will get that figured out. <laughs> so. But so yes, who are you talking to during that quote? <laughs> I'm not talking about I'm that was I was talking about, about Sam, Tyler, and Caleb. Oh my god. And I thought I had actually said it in the final six because I thought I had included Bryce in that too. I, I yeah. I, I would fit in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a I'm a I'm a bear. I do have a question for Michael. So Michael, when I did the Sudoku puzzle, like you looked upset at me. Like I because I always asked you and you never told me how you felt about me like not cheating. Um, Keaton had done it before, no, so I, I don't feel so. So yeah, um, so in the Sudoku puzzle, um, there was a little option of uh, check answers that started off not being checked, or it was checked or something. And so, if you wanted to, you could go through and just click random numbers until you completed it. Um, now, when we did the Sudoku for the jury or pre-jury comeback. I made them click that off because I did not want pre-jury to have that loophole, but I did allow that loophole for the game. game so. changer, and I'm so <laughs> happy you allowed me to uh, use the app <laughs> version because I would not have won otherwise. Because I mean, the other two, the other two didn't finish it with a time. I, I think you would have still finished it, but. Imagine doing good in puzzles. Michael, do you imagine you custom, my like, do you know your merch? Do you do like custom merch? If you want oh, something, TBA. and the power of the girls get a custom merch. Um, Tyler, Tyler, as the winner, I will buy you one item. The table shoes hoodie. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> can we the power of the girls logo. get a custom merch, Michael? Can what the power of the girls get a custom merch? Um, just like make sure you PM me and I can I make it, get done. Whatever you want, I'm fine. Michael, uh, <laughs> could Turkish Belisa Mandernegi get that? Was so funny. <laughs> I would PM me and I'll get you something. You promised you were gonna read it at finale, but you didn't. I mean, that there's a lot of um <laughs> three big dogs. <laughs> <sighs> Also, don't see. take I anything I said in the cast assessment personally. I read some of you to filth from front to back, but don't I mind it. it. I want to see it. Yeah, I, I want to see. I want to see everybody um, saying Billy. Like I think this. I'm trying to remember. Blake didn't. I'm pretty sure we had the same winners picks. I think we went through uh, for winners picks. We did two non winners, and then one person that was already a winner who we thought might be a two time winner. Um, I believe me and Blake both said. Bryce, Yoshi, and Sam. I think that was both of our picks. Um, I forget exactly who Paige and Caleb Reynolds said, but it's at the end of the cast assessment. I know you guys are probably just going to jump to your section. We did it in order of reveal, um, but if you want to go to the end of it to hear our um, our uh, winner picks, you can do that as well. Where's the link? Um, yeah. Uh, I'll give it to you guys later. It's still unlisted. I'll, I'll give it to you once the recording's over. Um, and then you guys will also get Jury Roundtable and the um, Rights to Passage. Uh, Rights to Passage was done with the final four. And then Jury Roundtable was done with all the jurors except for Sam. Michael, I want to know contenders. So. This better not be like season fours. <laughs> fucking. Contenders were probably more boring than you guys would expect. Um... Basically, for the longest time, I had my contenders were Sam, Tyler, Jabbar, and Yoshi for probably, I think it was since 
it was those four starting backwards week and it stayed those four until I narrowed it down to three at that point it was Sam Tyler and Jabbar that was starting with um right after Rizzo and then I narrowed it down to Sam and Tyler after Bryce left and then I narrowed it down to Tyler after Jabbar left so um Wait, yeah. was I going to beat Sam um, or in no? In the early weeks, you can see on there. But... What? Was I going to beat Sam or no? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I think that Sam's best option would have been taking Caleb. Oh, yeah. Um, but Sam and, Sam and Caleb both said they were taking you. So I think that was pretty impressive on your part, for sure. Um, but I think that Sam and Caleb would have been a very interesting final two that I would have liked to see play out, but obviously I'm happy for Tyler as well. So. I genuinely think that- I think any combination- up. What? I, I think that vote would have been close to Sam that? and Caleb. Sam versus Caleb would have been very interesting. I think that both of them kind of had some locked votes. Um, I don't know. I think, I think it would have been an interesting final two. I think any final two combination between the final four would have been very- Interesting so and very. I, I did not want to sit so. next to Jabbar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, would Jabbar have won? Yeah, would, would, would Jabbar have won? Probably. I'm not sure. I don't think. Uh, I, thought I don't think the jury Tyler, had honestly. not many people. I, I, I think had they had Jabbar high. Yeah, I, I think there was, I think there was only voting crazy. for Jabbar or Caleb. So whoops, my bad. It it just depends. You know, it depends on how it played out. Yeah. We really Jabbar, Jabbar, Jabbar was, was my was... number one, but I think I was maybe one of the only people. X may have had Jabbar pretty high as well, and Yoshi as well. But uh, I, like I said, Caleb and Jabbar, I was voting as long as one of them made it to the end. I did. Yeah. I was going to give Sam a, a chance to, if they cut Tyler, but you know they never got the chance to, and they weren't going to. So um, I love Sam. You, you you don't understand how stressed I was all day, even though. They both were telling me they were bringing me, and in my mind, I was like, why would they lie to me? I can't even play in part three, but I was like, mm -hmm. just the doubt in my mind. I was like, it could happen. Oh. And uh, Caleb, I knew you were telling Tyler he was taking you, because he was telling me, and so like that call we had, it was so oh, awkward. <laughs> oh, I, I, told, I told you both the same thing. I would call one of you and say, oh, Sam's telling me he's taking me, and then I'd call Sam and be like, Caleb's telling me he's taking me. And I knew you were doing it, too, but like, what was I going to do? I still wouldn't have <laughs> you. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, I'm still kind of shook that the winners did not want to take each other to the end to secure that another winner won. Mm -hmm. I do, I do think that the strategy behind it, like, I mean, you're the only winner in the final, so you have that to clinch on to. Yeah. Um, but also, with the two winners in there, it can't go the opposite way, where the, the jury is like, well, you won before, I don't want to vote for you. And that, if there's two of them there, they have to. But with only one of them there, they have that advantage of, I won before and I still got here. So it's kind of a give or take. It really depends on the on the jury. It wasn't um, a mess from the start. Me and so. Caleb both evicted Cindy week two. Oh, we did. We were woke. Caleb, were you evicting Cindy backwards week? Um, most likely. I know I thought I wasn't. I think that's one thing was. that Cindy didn't understand. I think Cindy thought that Lee was the only one evicting her. I don't think that was true. Now I do think that. I, I don't necessarily think Caleb wanted that HOH, but if he would have gotten it, I think Lee would have, or sorry, Cindy would have been the one evicted. I um, feel so like I get that, but I do think there were people evicting Cindy other than just Lee. Um, but I don't know. Hey, I, I just like, oh, okay, production, can we, can we know why Cindy wanted me out so bad after I literally gave her the world? I'm not sure. Well, that kind I, of confused I, me I, because I, I know that you were. Yeah, you definitely were a big force in her staying week two, and so that did kind of confuse me. But also, I know that you were close with Bryce, and Cindy was close with Bryce. So I don't know if that that was a situation where I, I think Cindy she was wanted Bryce. <laughs> Or whatever. But I also think she got pissed off that Tyler wanted Megan gone. I, yeah, it was, I think it was really more tried. Megan. Me and Bryce tried to get the four of us to work together, but like... So, so, so what I'm hearing from all this is that all of you should have saved me week two. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh yes. Um. Oh, wait. Also, I like. Truthfully, I, oh, what fuck what was I going to say? Um. Okay, someone else go. Sorry, I lost my thought. I all yes, yes, Ferks, same. Mm-hmm. You know that's fine. I, I can leave with that. That I should have stayed weak. <laughs> I, I kind of wish I, I would have evicted him at the at Billy at this point, but you know it's fine. The only thing, the only thing for me was as soon as Kevin left, I literally had like nobody. <laughs> so I don't understand why that wasn't a bigger selling point for everyone. Because I could have been the ultimate free agent for anybody. Because I, like, I'm very capable of winning comps, mm-hmm. and I probably would have done whatever the first person <laughs> would have told me to do. Uh, wait, I did remember. Okay, so um, I was not targeting Megan until she tried putting me and Caleb on a platter to serve to the <laughs> cast. Um, yeah. Okay, that, that week pissed me off too. That week was very interesting to me. Um, so Caleb and Megan had had a call, and um, <laughs> Caleb had kind of shown interest of wanting to save Luke if possible, and Megan really like gave him confidence to go do it. Even though Megan was in other chats and her production chat being like, "There's no way I'm saving Luke," like all this stuff, and so she really was pinning it on Caleb. And I didn't necessarily understand that. Game. Um, it really did make me look like but, a fool. Oh yeah, I think it did. Yeah, I think she was definitely playing Caleb. I think that Megan was in a very good position. And I think that that kind of messed that up for sure. Um, and I think she she was too clung on to those season two rumors that I think she kind of, uh, honestly, I think Megan is, the, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure Megan was the source of those yeah, yeah. rumors it was, yeah, 100%. and then it and then it continued and oh. snowballed into okay. other I things was gonna say, i was gonna say um, because like the whole entire like no. season two starting from like the like redemption or whatever you want to call it the comeback chat was kind of just megan and because basically like what that chat ended up being was just everyone just sharing information of when like when they got evicted like what was going on <laughs> and i learned a lot <laughs> that I, like, probably shouldn't have, but I learned a lot. (laughs) Like, what? I think that, like, it was said that Luke confirmed the rumors where kind of, that kind of happened. Luke, um, I don't know if Luke necessarily understood what was being asked, because I don't know if he was aware of the season two rumors that were being told, Um, but he did say that, like, they, they, he was working with season two, but he never really confirmed the actual alliance, but it could have been interpreted that way, but I don't think he really understood the question. So like it props to Jack for coming back and con- like saying that it was confirmed because obviously that puts a target on them. But I do think once again, that really just ignited them to that's action. The thing, together, so. That's the thing. I did like, it. We Jack were all competent in <laughs> competitions. Why would you make a statement like that when we have the power? Like Burks well, was HLA. In, in the Look. world that like the world that should have existed, where I beat Jack and then I come back and then I don't make that decision. <laughs> and Look, the final answer was so funny. I've never, me. I've never said that I'm good with information. It's because <laughs> I'm not at all. If you tell me something, suddenly everyone in the house knows it, and I don't know how it happened. But you got evicted for doing the same thing already. Oh, right. I did. Oh, I did. Was... And it meant nothing. I'm, oh, I mean, I'm glad it happened. <laughs> oh, oh, I deserve to be evicted both times. It was so stupid. It was, so was so funny because, like, everyone was coming to me and they're like, there's definitely a season two chat. It was like me and Rizzo were, like, sitting with them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I would just run to them and be like... <laughs> The second two chat, yeah, I'm in it. I mean, everyone was coming to you because I know I never spread that rumor okay. once. Yeah, no. I always defended that exactly. season two wasn't an alliance because I was praying that y'all were. Right, I didn't want it to be an alliance, so I need yeah, everyone to I stop fucking either. talking about it. I do it. think that was me. That I do think it's funny that Caleb got lumped in there. That was me with the winners. I was kind of like, the winners, oh. the winners don't have anything. I promise. <laughs> I oh, I didn't so actually think the winners had anything either. I just needed, I, I, I was dumping everything. I was like, y'all are <laughs> fucking stupid for not wanting to evict Sam. So let me just dump as much as I can to like try and change your mind. Cindy said preseason. I do appreciate the a lot of the, a lot of the people 
Um, starting with the jury phase, a lot of the people that were headed out of the game gave really good fights on their way out. And I really appreciated that because like a lot of you knew you were probably leaving, but you still gave gave it your all when you were leaving. And I really I thought it was a Oh yeah. If I, if I know if I know I'm going, I dress up. So like <laughs> Yeah. Um, oh, I didn't also, get a chance bye. to defend myself when leaving. <laughs> Looks at Michael Davis. Uh, also, Rizzo, I'm sure you know. I'm sure you know by now. But like, obviously, the reason I nod you is because you had your final three chat with Sam and yeah. Caleb. Yeah. And on top yeah. of that, I, I don't know if you told. See, I knew I, that. I knew that part was true, but I don't know if you told Jabbar that he was also in your final three. Oh, I told Jabbar I wanted to go to the end with no, Jabbar. No, no, no. So this is this is my my dream scenario because. <laughs> Obviously, I was very close to Sam and Caleb. I was taking Caleb to the end regardless. There's, there, I, I would have lost happily. I've done it before. Why not do it again? So my thing was, is if I was that final three with Sam, I wasn't sure if Sam would have took me, but I knew Jabbar was going to take me. So like, kind of like you, Tyler, like if I was in final three and I didn't part one or part two, I think Jabbar would have taken me over Caleb. So I would have. Yeah. But so. that's, and I... And Rizzo offered me that three, and I turned him down, and I was like, I'm not going to take you. You or Caleb will go home. Like, I told him. And that's why I wasn't bitter at Jabbar, like, when, like, I got evicted. I was really bitter at Sam, because, like, Jabbar told me the entire game, like, Rizzo, like, I, I'm working with you, but I'm going to be honest. I'm probably not going to the end with you. I was like, cool. But then, you know, I talked to Sam every day for three hours, and we were like, we're going to the end, buddy. And then I just heard that Sam kind of, you know, was the reason I went home. And I was like, wow. I, I can't mean, honestly, like imagine wasting three hours of your life everything. talking to someone just to fucking cut them. Like it's not a waste. Wait, wait. I, I mean, Sam can give his piece, and then I'll give my piece on that. But you can go first. You can oh, okay. Go so basically, <laughs> um, Sam can vouch for this. So like Rizzo, during the stages that we weren't talking, I obviously wanted you out because we weren't talking. Right. And then we started talking and. Obviously, me and Sam were like a duo, so I was trying to like accommodate in a way. Like he would keep my allies. Yeah, I was the one that told like Tyler to go and talk to you because I wanted you two to like come together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So that's when we started talking. Whatever. Um. However, I still I I knew that you were gonna bring me that far. Like I didn't think you were after me soon, but I think like give it three rounds or whatever, you would have been after me. Um. So the second Sam was like, oh yeah, like. I, I don't know how I feel about Rizzo. I, I jumped on that shit. I was like, Rizzo gotta go. Um, because I honestly, Sam talked about you nonstop and it was yeah. always good things. And it was always like, I wanna bring Rizzo this far. I wanna bring Rizzo to top four. And I was like, no, like Sam, we need him out. And he'd be like, no, 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 all the time. So Ber yeah, the second Ber I saw the opportunity, I had to jump on. Birch did tell me that. So like, I, I felt better about it. Um, my thing was, is like, I, was I going to go to, like, for me, I mean, obviously you won, so it was a great thing. I think for you personally, it was a great to get me out at 10, because you're right. I mean, I wasn't going to go to finals. Like, if I won final eight HOH per se, or an HOH in the triple, I was putting up you and Burks, 100%. But, like, if I won final 10, 9, or, well, I guess 8, I would have. Like, I didn't have any plans of doing the team. I was kind of pretty honest this game, just because I was a snake last season. So, like, I was like, let me not do that this time. No, you don't say well, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, besides the Billy round, I was pretty straightforward with all my votes and stuff. So like when I told you I wasn't putting you up and then you put me up and then I had, you know, Lee and Jabbar tell me like, Rizzo, you're going to go home. And I'm just like, like Tyler said I had a chance. Like to me, like what upset me was like, you guys told me like I had a chance and I fought so hard just to know I literally had zero chance. Kind of like, I was like, damn. I mean, I heard the I, same I don't thing from Tyler. Yeah, um, yeah, honestly, I was really bad for that. Um, I did feel super bad, like, when you called me. I was like... He was like, if you can get... Because I was like, I could maybe get Caleb and I can maybe get Lee. And he's like, if you get those two, you should have a chance. I never had a fucking chance. Tyler was never saving me. So, like, yeah, I just I mean, ran and, I like, mean, spilled yeah. my life. Like, really tried to, like, fight with for, like, myself with Caleb and Lee for what was basically no reason. I think your only chance was if Jabbar and Yoshi decided to save you. And yeah. And that my, wasn't happening. My thing also with my eviction is because I even told Tyler. I, was Tyler, I mean, well, I understand Tyler. I was like, Tyler, if I'm going home for a rumor, I'm going to be fucking pissed because there was no way I told anybody that I was targeting you with this or that. Mm -hmm. And then you were like, it's not a rumor, it's fact. And then I go on the jury and it's a fucking rumor. I'm just like, oh. Wait, it wasn't a, wait, what rumor? Well, no, 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 no I, like, as in you, like, me targeting you, like, 
now I know it's because I the final three with me, mm-hmm. Sam, Caleb, but um, no, yeah, I I never thought you were targeting me at all. Like I I knew that I was good with you for a couple more rounds at least. Um, but it was kind of like to be honest, at that point in the game, I didn't think anyone was nominating me. So right. except for maybe I think it was also that like in order to get you out, he needed my vote, and so right. like, after me and Jabbar had talked, and like I didn't think that you were actually like taking me far then i was went to tower and i was like okay put him up <laughs> see my then, thing with games is like if i spend my time talking to someone like a long time like i'm not gonna cut you like to me that's just like not it's a waste of time that's why i'm surprised i made it last season like i call people for like 20 minutes last season and be like yeah let's do this let's do this let's do this and then i just i wouldn't care that's why bryce was so easy for me last season like i just started getting on a call with bryce like at final seven so when bryce was like oh Riz, i'm like i know, I talk, know. Like, I know. Season yeah. five was a different thing there were not a lot of calls <laughs> that's, why, like, that's why i was so confused too, yeah because yeah, i well, so to obviously be fair, to me be and you talked that- a lot and then, like, when I went on, J- like, and talked to Jabbar, and Jabbar was like, oh, he wants you out soon. And he wants me in Final Three. I was like, oh, oh I'm like, <laughs> bye. I'm like, well, I was like, I'm no, I would never cut Sam. I mean, given it at the end, it'd be different. But, like, I was like, I would never, like, target Sam or this or whatever. I think I went on more calls this season than the entirety of season five. Oh, so <laughs> season, two, season two did not that's have calls. saying something. It was so crazy because Power of last season, Power of Five, we were like mm. the majority alliance and never called ever. I, I, it was the funniest thing. We were literally just... Yeah. I would like to get some props to those season one players because this was a different game than season one. Um, specifically, obviously, Sam, Keaton, and Lee because Jack played season four, but those three came into this game probably completely not knowing what this game has become. Um, like Sam has described it himself, like season one is a group game that you guys got on call for, for evictions. Like that was really all 1984 mm-hmm. was back then. Now it has turned into a big social game where you guys are on call all the time. Like it, I would go on break at work and you guys would be on call. I would wake up three in the morning, you guys were on call. Like you guys were on calls all the time. Um, so that, that really shows, one, how much this game has evolved in two years, and um, two, the amount of time and effort you guys put into this game. Um, but yeah, like props to the season one people for, for uh, changing up what they had to do. Even season two was similar to that too. So. It was funny because like, oh, there's a lot of people this game. Going off with what Rizzo just said, yeah, the majority alliance in season five, we I think we had two calls all season. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I'm I mean, so I bad at calls. I'm so like bad at them. I probably talked to Sam more in one night, one playing Roblox, and I did all of season five combined. It, it was just like a weird time. It was did kind you call of with like, Jason a lot? Oh, that, yeah, no, I forgot about Jason. Shout out, Jason. Yeah, no, I talked like, to Jason. Like, honestly, Rizzo, I would have taken you to final three with me. <laughs> like, well, I just, I just didn't know. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lee, Lee, I have to dispel some rumors here. I trusted you more than Sam did. Oh, did you? I don't or, think like, true. Until I nommed you, you oh, Sam. Sam. <laughs> Let's not go there. Yeah, those trust rankings say something different. I definitely no, I, th- think that Sam Sam had started having doubts about Lee kind of pretty early on. So. Yeah. Okay, that was because of the week two vote. <laughs> Here we go. Are we sorry, the week two vote? Like, I'm so sorry, Lee. To be, so sorry, Lee. <laughs> to be fair, was on me too. Yeah, yeah Lee, you're just saying. It was so funny. I know, I know, I did. Yeah, like Sam and I lied to each other. We did. I still thought you were lying to me. League and frame for Saute. Jesus. Oh, oh, that's poor oh, that was also where I like had to. Yeah, y'all are disgusting, and y'all can burn in hell for that. Yeah, I didn't even realize it was my fault until I was like, oh, I think it was kind of my fault. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, <laughs> did, oh, so oh my god, it was yeah. Bryce leaked it to me, and, and Tyler I, told me that it was Bryce. Uh, I told Jabbar. Jabbar was the only one that I told it was Bryce. But oh, I also told Sam, and then and me. Sam was like, Sam was like, should we get a rumor going? Like he's like, should I just say Lee told me? And I was like, do it. I was like, and he's like, okay. And he spread it, 
And Sam, you're disgusting. <laughs> the clock Sam on his shit. No, Sam really does not want me to talk to him. No, I do. All, all I've gotten really from this whole entire like round table is that Sam did a lot of lying. Oh, he did. <laughs> oh yeah, Sam was a Why do you guys think we gave the one of the season to We were oh, we were okay. literally pawns in Sam's game. Literally, I like this I was, was like the Sam's whole time and y'all were living in it. Right. One hundred percent. This was like completely different from season yeah, one. Yeah, like, I don't I think so I'm gonna look like season one. So like for me, like for like I was so adamant like the whole time until like maybe like I think last week that Sam saved me. And then like they're like, oh Sam evicted me, it was better. I'm like, that little bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm gonna talk to Sam for quite a while now. <laughs> and I mean that full heartedly. <laughs> you, you, you can't clock the me Sam Cindy final three, baby. Oh, okay. oh um, honestly, it was so funny that when I went on call with Bryce and Bryce told me basically about every alliance he was already <laughs> in and I knew about all of them pretty much except for, no, I knew about all of them Yeah. Um, to some degree. And I was just sitting there like acting so surprised. And then Bryce was like, oh, Megan, Megan was like spreading season two rumors when Sam literally, Sam jumped immediately off that call and called me and said, Megan just said that there's season two rumors. So <laughs> what I do, listen. I'm glad. I, I'm glad I, I reported it. Oh, you should have. I you think right. my favorite, my one of my favorite parts of the game was always talking to Tyler at like three in the morning and just have Tyler playing telephone with me and Bryce because I knew what he was doing. Like Tyler would be like, "Oh, Rizzo." So many people played telephone between us. It was unbelievable. It was. It was so fun. Uh, like, Megan oh. had a episode float. <laughs> a big game of telephone. <laughs> Literally, Tyler. I would talk to Tyler and they're like, "Let's say like the combo is starting to die." I'm like, oh, Bryce is so annoying. Blah, blah, blah. Like, <laughs> Literally, whenever it would die, people would be like, God, Rizzo. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I was like, I was like, okay, fine. I guess we'll talk about Bryce. And we'll, like, Bryce, this, this, this. And then I feel like Tyler would go to Bryce. And the Bryce would be like, Rizzo, people are telling me things. I'm like, I only fucking talked to Tyler last night. So obviously, yeah, it's Tyler. I don't know. Um, I That's... honestly don't think I, I don't think I told Bryce too much about her combos, to be honest. Oh, I, I mean, know. it just seemed like it. You guys didn't really talk much under my impression until oh, no. we no, did no. toward like Final the board. mid-ish game. Yeah, no, we... at the mid game, like you tried to keep it a secret, but I was like blatant by the fact that you suddenly weren't targeting him. I was like, okay, they're like, they well, like... yeah, like don't get me wrong, I was always like you. You were always a priority for me, and that also impacted my decision in taking out Rizzo because you leaving was not good for me. Yeah. But um, no, me and Rizzo talked a lot toward like. You no, know, I know, because y'all had the biggest 180 mm-hmm. to where suddenly y'all were like BFFs and you had been targeting him like... Honestly, me and Jabbar's mind getting Burks to non-Keaton and not Caleb and then um, getting Burks to target Keaton instead of Caleb or instead oh, of funny. Rizzo. Oh, funny. went on the house call ready to pick a fight with Keaton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, no, he has to get the hell out of here now. Okay. Jabbar, when I came to you about that four, like I was, I was dead ass, like, and I knew y'all didn't trust me, so I, and you were like, you, you would nom me with the HOH, and that's why I went up. You were not touching the block during my HOH, just so I could have shown you, but obviously, I'm a flop at comps, so I, there was no way I was showing you that, but I was dead ass with wanting to work with you, Yoshi, and X. I definitely. Oh, oh and not Bryce. And not Bryce. Sorry. What? I didn't trust. I didn't trust you and Cindy after Tyler told me about all the alliances that you were in. Yeah, I. I mean, I wanted to go to final two with you. I will. Well, say yes. That. Yeah. Nope. When we talked about final two, this was after Jabbar had already. Kind oh, of pre-final gone. two. Yeah, there was. Yeah, there was definitely no. lack of trust. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, hundred percent. And I definitely apologize. And it's okay. Like it is what it is. I. You had no reason to trust me. We didn't talk. I didn't talk to a lot of people much. The only reason Tyler and I talked nearly as much as we did is because he always asked me to call, and so I was like, "Yeah." Okay. I mean, but better to be honest, I did trust you a lot in the early stages of the you game. Did. You were, you were definitely one of my top out. Yeah. Because I don't bullshit people. Oh, and Sam can vouch <laughs> for that. I'm like, I, um, I Sam you actually, to dude, actually, you, you yeah. were gonna go. Oh, wait, wait, sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, you were gonna go up on Sam's HOH initially, and I like begged Sam not to put you up. I know you had something to do with it because I don't. I don't think just me talking to Sam, we didn't have the relationship at the time for it to like go. But the moment that Sam didn't nom me is the moment Sam got so much of my trust. Like Mm -hmm. Sam was someone that I would have gone really deep with. Like, but my HOH kind of snapped. Oh, that was (laughs) me. There's been a change of plans. I'm like, okay. 
he was like, just go with it. I'm like, okay, I'm going to shut the hell up. Because mm-hmm. I thought Bender was going up too, but Chris went up instead. So Jamal, yeah, y'all just did not like me, which is fine. I want to clarify for the Keaton week. In retrospect, I should not have won that HOH, and I didn't realize it at the time because I did think Rizzo was after me, and I shouldn't have won at like final eleven either. But I wasn't going to do Keaton. Like I was going to do Caleb one hundred percent until I realized that um, Keaton, J- Jack, and Lee were all doing two two people from like I knew they were all doing uh, uh. some combination of Jabbar and Tyler, and. <laughs> Literally, like, I tend to work with, big, like, big targets. And, like, for majority of the game, Jabbar, Sam, and Tyler were my closest allies. So then I'm like, okay, I kind of just have to, to do this. But, like, in retrospect, I shouldn't have won that HOH at all. You should have let me have it. I had pencils in my mouth for two rounds. No. I Thank you. Or you win that HOH was, like, saved my life. Thank you. No, I like, would have been okay if Reza won. I feel maybe yeah. he would have not me, but I felt like I would have been okay I, if he won. I have a feeling I might not have been okay. You <laughs> <laughs> honey. <laughs> Did you ever won H O H? Were you back during me, or were you always putting me up initially? I was back during you. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> All right, um, I am going to wrap up this recording. Wait, can I ask one more question? Go for it. Um, Bryce, why did you want me out in the triple? Uh, because of the whole expose thing. I felt like I'd given you so much information, and I, it come to my attention that it had just gone everywhere. Mm-hmm. And at that point, I was like. And also, it had come to my attention that people thought I was, like, kind of your sheep. And I was like, okay, I'm not doing this. Um, I think it's time for me to free my game up a little. There was a lot of shady stuff that had went down before and that I had, I'd, like, heard about with the whole sa- thing Sam told you in the Jabbar incident. I don't know. And I was like, uh, I'm not. I just, I, I was like, I just got to make a move here and do something. Because I, I just, I knew you didn't want me out directly, but I also felt like you were planting um, I, I do think that had you not done that, I would have saved you over Caleb. And yeah, I, I agree. Um, whatever. <laughs> I also did feel like Burks, like I had a better shot against Burks than I did against you. And that's exactly why I did not trust your word because- Oh, I was taking to... Lee every day. Oh, I know. Yeah. Wild <laughs> ones, baby. I thought that if that was a shorter week, I would have stayed because I would have either tried to talk to Jabbar about using the veto because I was shocked that he didn't use it. Because And then also with Lee, but I didn't even wrap my mind around the fact that it was a trip. Like, I didn't see Michael's background. <laughs> Wild ones, baby. Let's and uh, and like, grab, let's get the, the, the like, videos, the cast sessions and everything out there. Yeah. yeah. I don't know we're already ready to see this. Also, where's the jury music um, video, Michael? Also, who drafted me? I'm sorry. Um, the final two okay. has not done the music video yet. And oh, guys, you no. the alumni chat to... now. We really okay, hold on, hold on. Let, let me talk for a second. Um, I am going to wrap up the recording, but I will let you guys stay on here. That'll be fine. Um, I'll get everything kind of rolling out um, as uh, time goes on. Tonight, we might get, we'll probably get the cast assessment and rites of passage out. Um, and jury round table, I think we'll get that out tonight. Um, other than that, chart will be out very shortly. Um, power rankings will be out eventually, not, not today, not, not tomorrow, but eventually they'll be out. We want to, we want to let it sit for a second before we, um, really update those, um, everything else, it'll start rolling out. Um, (laughs) and then jury music video, I still have three people I need to get that from, or maybe four. Uh, if I get that from you guys, then I can edit it. If not, then that's on you guys. So um, I would love to to be able to get that out for you guys. Um, but yeah, so that is all I have for you guys. Um, I do really appreciate all of you that played this season. You all played your heart out. Um, congratulations to Tyler and to Caleb and to Sam um, on making final three. Um, you guys rocked this game. This is a great season. Um, two years ago, I would never have thought that, that this game would have got to this point. Um, if you are watching this and you have never played 1984 or any org at all, please apply because newbies are always welcome. Um, veterans are always welcome as well. Um, org veterans, not 1984 veterans. <laughs> but you guys are always welcome. I would love to see some new faces in this community. Um, orgs are a lot better than those 10 gauge games. Um, so yeah um with that that is all i have for you guys this has been 1984 hall of fame